Um, coach just told me to get a rebound, you know, on the defensive end, first and foremost. You know, Chase came up huge with that stop on Franklin, and it was a loose ball, and I just grabbed it. And that's where they found me first time, and then Chase got fouled. I thought he was going to make both free throws, but he missed it. Franklin didn't do a good job boxing me out, and I just grabbed the ball, held on to it. Went to the free throw line, made one or two, and then just got back and played defense against Thames. Make sure he didn't get any like quick shot off, turn them, you know, about two, three times, and just got the steal. Could you, could you kind of tell because he changed directions like three, four times, and he only had seven seconds? Could you tell he was maybe panicking a little, and you might have an opportunity to make a focus lose? I wouldn't say panicking. He just couldn't. He was just trying to get the best shot for his team, and I think that if I would have got back, he would have had enough time to set up, you know, either get a ball screen or just be able to penetrate, kick to somebody. So I was just trying to waste time and just turn them back and forth and. When he did a spin move, I just, natural reaction, just go for the ball. Mike, how big was this one for you guys? You kept hearing all week long about you know, the numbers and the streaks, et cetera. How big was this for you? Um, Usually, like, hope that mic in front of the mic. Um, I think it was real big. Um, you know, uh, we really just wanted to get this one back because uh, we feel like we really level and go back in San Diego. So, I mean, we all came out pumped for this game. Uh, I think it was the first game in a while. We, we really played 40 good minutes, like hard, and um, hopefully we can just keep going on that. I mean, everything you guys have accomplished so far this year, how much pride do you take in this win compared to everything else, just given what has happened in this series in the last three quarters? Um, a lot. I mean, especially at this moment right now, um, coming off a loss, um, it is good to get this one to really bounce back and kind of uh, get our confidence back so we can get back rolling. Mike, what did you think of that great big uh, sign in the stands? <laughs> they, it was like the faces from. Uh, when I finally seen it, it kind of caught me off guard. Uh, but yeah, that was great. That was crazy. Our crowd came out nuts today. And, oh, man, they, they were really on point. They really helped us out a lot. Justin, uh, what were you thinking after team blows a 13-point lead, Tapley hits three to beat them ahead, <clears> and uh, what you had to do to win the game at that point? Honestly, I was frustrated on the bench. Just the fact that... I knew we could play so much better defense and that every shot that they were taking was going in or they get an offensive rebound and put it back in. But I knew that when it came to clutch time, like our guys was going to lock down and play defense like we know how to do. And then the last three minutes or two minutes, you could say, like we really started guarding the way we were supposed to. Oscar, could you get your thoughts kind of on the game? Obviously, we had a big lead slip away, and it seems like, like we always say, San Diego State came out the line. I really feel like we were just really just stuck out and just fought through it. You know what I mean? We let down a little bit and the shots weren't falling and we just went out there and just played defense and just, you know, just stayed together. That was the main thing was just staying together and that's what Coach was saying, just team. And as long as we stay together, we'll pull out with a, with a win. You guys at home have been able to put teams away. Uh, were you surprised? What was going through your mind as they, you know, you guys were hitting shots and they kind of started closing the gap? I feel like we just really weren't hitting shots, and then that we let our—I mean, let that get to our defense, and just really letting up, letting up on defensive end, and just really not focusing, and we lost focus, and we just had to, you know, battle through and just gain our focus back and pull out the victory. Oscar, after four years, do you feel like it's just these games are just meant to come down to the last possession with them? Uh, they're a great team, and I mean, we're a great team also, and it's a battle. I mean, I mean, we expect a battle, and we just expect to just go out there and just play. Bryce, you scored the first 10 points of the second half. Can you talk about what changed in the offense after that? <coughs> um, <coughs> and we got good penetration from our guards to keep a roll. And by, by they penetrating like that, they found me. They put under the basket and all. It was just easy buckets for me. You, Bryce, you can follow up on what Oscar was saying. It's about you know, finally beating these guys after all this six in a row and then beating them here at home and finally getting them? I mean, yeah, of course it feels really good to uh, beat San Diego State, but we know they're going to be a, a tough a tough game every time we play them because you can't, you can't relax it against them. Keep coming at you, so it's a good, good point for, for us. Do you guys want to see them again in the Mountain West tournament or are you just going to say? I got it. Um, 
I think I think we do, you know. Mount West tournament, you always want to play the best, you know. I think we feel that we want to go through the best to become Mount West champions, and I believe that San Diego State is one of the best teams in the conference. And I think for us to win a championship, we're definitely going to have to go through them again. Like when you guys were up by 12 in the second half, could you kind of feel that you're on the verge of putting them away, or did you expect them to, to make a run at you? Yeah, no, I definitely expected them to make a run. I mean, uh, in the stretch where they just were making shots and defending really well, um, it was tough. And we just wanted to keep trying to push the lead, keep trying to push the lead. We're not really a team that you know, gets up and holds the ball. You know, we're still trying to score, you know, if we can get it to 10, the lead 15, 20. But we were just stuck there around that 10, 12 range. And then kind of got tired and started slipping defensively. And, you know, just kind of regrouped in the end. And I think getting that rest kind of helped us push through the last two minutes. Oscar, you touched on a little bit, but just were you starting to doubt it at all when they took the lead back after blowing the lead? You guys were saying, you know, what's it going to take to beat these guys for one? Uh, no, not at all. No doubt at all. I just knew that we were just going to, you know, lock in and just, really just get our focus back. And that's something that we did. And there's games that have been down to the wire, so we were kind of used to it. And we just, you know, stood together and just really pulled it out. Justin, talk about the end, did you know, did you feel like uh, you want to be the guy to make a big defensive play or somebody was going to have to to save this game? Um, I wouldn't just say at the end of the game. I think throughout the whole game. Because on Monday, Coach had really talked to me about, like, your defense hasn't really been the same, you know, from probably the Bakersfield game until now. He just challenged me on the defensive end, like, no one should score on you no matter what. Like, I don't care if you make a mistake on defense, no one should really score on you. And I felt that, you know, I had a couple defensive lapses during the game, but I just made up for it, you know, with my toughness and also my teammates helped me out. And at the end of the game, they just picked me up when I came in. Like they said, one stop, we, we win the game, and that's what happened. Can you guys talk about the effect the uh, crowds had so far?